Talimonstrum, often called the Tully Monster, is a mysterious marine creature that lived about 300 million years ago during the Carboniferous period. Its unusual form, which seems to be a combination of a slug, a fish, and an alien probe, has made it a major challenge for paleontologists to classify. Despite the relatively clear fossil structure, the creature's unique anatomy has long been a source of debate. Scientists are still fiercely arguing over whether it was a vertebrate or an invertebrate. The existence of Tullimonstrum remains a great mystery, and new discoveries only seem to add to the complexity of what was already an unsolvable puzzle. Francis Tully had no idea that cracking open a simple rock would create a 70-year scientific headache that still puzzles experts today. During the 1950s, this amateur fossil hunter was exploring the Mazon Creek fossil beds in Illinois, a site already famous among collectors for preserving soft-bodied creatures in remarkable detail. The ironstone concretions found there acted like natural time capsules, capturing delicate tissues that normally decompose long before fossilization can occur. When Tully split open one particular concretion, he found something that looked like nature's failed experiment. The creature displayed features that seemed borrowed from completely different animals, creating an anatomical combination that defied explanation. The fossil revealed a soft, elongated body measuring several inches in length, ending in what appeared to be a functional tail fin designed for swimming through ancient seas. Attached to the front of this streamlined body was a long proboscis that extended nearly one third of the creature's total length. At the tip of this feeding apparatus sat what appeared to be a grasping jaw filled with rows of tiny sharp projections. Most bizarre of all were the eyes positioned unlike any normal animal. Instead of sitting directly on the head, these visual organs were mounted on long stalks that extended horizontally from the sides of the creature, giving it an almost mechanical appearance. Professional paleontologists who examined Tully's discovery were completely baffled. The creature's anatomy didn't match any known group of animals living or extinct. Its combination of features violated the established patterns that scientists use to classify life forms. The scientific community struggled to even describe what they were looking at with early research papers, cautiously avoiding any definitive classification attempts. This wasn't just an unusual fossil, it represented a biological impossibility that challenged fundamental assumptions about how life is organized and how evolution assembles body plans. The creature seemed to exist in a taxonomic vacuum belonging nowhere, in the established tree of life. Tully's accidental discovery created a scientific puzzle so complex that it would spawn decades of research and heated debate among the world's top paleontologists. Understanding why this fossil was so revolutionary requires examining exactly what made its anatomy so impossible to categorize. Imagine trying to classify an animal that appears to have been assembled from spare parts of creatures that lived in completely different environments. The Tully monster's body plan defies every rule paleontologists use to identify and classify ancient life forms. When scientists examined the fossils more closely, they discovered that each anatomical feature seemed to belong to a different type of animal entirely. The soft, elongated body suggested a mollusk, like a slug, or squid creatures that typically lack hard internal structures. Yet the pronounced tail fin indicated a swimming vertebrate adapted for propulsion through water. Most confusing were those stalked eyes which resembled the visual apparatus found in certain arthropods like crabs or lobsters. No single animal group possessed this particular combination of characteristics. The creature's feeding apparatus presented another puzzle within the puzzle. The proboscis structure dominated the front portion of the animal, stretching nearly one third of its total body length. This elongated appendage terminated in a jaw structure filled with rows of small, sharp projections. These formations looked more like specialized feeding apparatus designed for grasping prey rather than conventional teeth used for chewing or tearing food. Those famous stalked eyes held secrets of their own. Evidence from multiple specimens suggested these visual organs could extend and retract 
giving the animal adjustable vision capabilities. This feature would have allowed the creature to scan for prey or predators while keeping its main body hidden in the murky waters of Carboniferous Seas. The storks themselves showed remarkable flexibility, indicating sophisticated muscular control. The body architecture created additional confusion for researchers. Some areas displayed clear evidence of segmentation with distinct divisions running along portions of the torso. Other sections appeared completely smooth and unsegmented, creating a patchwork anatomy that didn't match any established evolutionary patterns. This inconsistent segmentation violated basic principles about how animal bodies develop and maintain structural organization. Size variations among discovered specimens ranged dramatically from tiny juveniles measuring just inches to impressive adults reaching nearly one foot in length. Despite these size differences, every specimen maintained the same bizarre combination of anatomical features. Every detail that should have provided clear clues to the creature's identity instead deepened the mystery of what it actually represented. The creature's impossible combination of features from different animal groups created an anatomical puzzle that seemed to violate the basic principles of how evolution assembles body plans. This anatomical confusion would lead scientists down multiple research paths, each seeming promising until new evidence emerged to challenge their conclusions. Few fossils have sparked as many scientific arguments as the Tully monster, with researchers proposing identities ranging from primitive vertebrates to alien-like mollusks. For decades, paleontologists attempted to place the Tully monster somewhere on the tree of life, but each new study seemed to contradict previous conclusions. The scientific community found itself caught in an endless cycle of classification attempts with each proposed solution creating new problems that researchers couldn't resolve. In 2016, two major studies claimed to have solved the mystery by identifying the creature as a primitive vertebrate related to lampreys, but their evidence was immediately challenged by other experts. The vertebrate interpretation relied heavily on supposed melanosomes in the eyes and what researchers claimed was a primitive backbone structure called a notochord. These microscopic features seemed to provide the smoking gun that would finally place the creature among early vertebrates, giving scientists hope that the classification puzzle was finally solved. Critics argued that these features could be explained by preservation artifacts or convergent evolution, pointing out that many invertebrates also possess complex eyes and internal support structures. The debate intensified when researchers realized that similar microscopic structures appear in completely unrelated organisms, making the vertebrate evidence far less convincing than originally claimed. Advanced imaging techniques in 2023 revealed head segmentation patterns that don't exist in any known vertebrate, suggesting the creature belonged to an entirely different branch of the animal kingdom. Chemical analysis of the fossils produced conflicting results, with some studies supporting vertebrate tissue signatures, while others indicated invertebrate biochemistry. Each new technological approach seemed to raise more questions than it answered about the creature's true nature. Electron microscopy revealed cellular structures that could support multiple interpretations, while synchrotron imaging exposed internal features that didn't match any known animal group. The scientific community found itself trapped in a cycle where every apparent breakthrough was followed by evidence that complicated or contradicted the new findings. Each research team brought sophisticated equipment and fresh perspectives, yet none could produce definitive proof that satisfied their colleagues. The Tully monster's unique preservation and unprecedented anatomy created a scientific vacuum where multiple interpretations seemed equally plausible, leading to a classification war that continues today. Understanding why this debate remains unresolved requires examining the fundamental challenges of studying fossils from the Maison Creek deposits. The same exceptional preservation that makes Tully monster fossils so spectacular also creates the very conditions that make them impossible to definitively classify. Maison Creek's unique fossilization process 
preserves incredible detail of soft tissues, but also introduces preservation biases that can mislead researchers about the creature's true anatomy. The site's iron stone concretions formed when bacterial decay created chemical conditions that rapidly mineralized surrounding sediments, capturing organisms in remarkable detail while simultaneously altering their original structure. The iron stone concretions that preserve these fossils create beautiful silhouettes, but rarely capture the internal structures that would solve the classification puzzle once and for all. These formations act like natural compression chambers, flattening three-dimensional organisms into two-dimensional impressions. Critical anatomical details like internal organs, skeletal elements and muscle arrangements get compressed beyond recognition or disappear entirely during the fossilization process. Decay processes during fossilization can create false structures that mimic important anatomical features, making it nearly impossible to distinguish between real biology and preservation artifacts. Bacterial films that form during decomposition can leave traces that resemble primitive nerve cords or supportive structures. These decay-related features often appear exactly where scientists expect to find diagnostic anatomy, creating convincing but ultimately false evidence about the creature's evolutionary relationships. The chemical signatures that researchers use to identify tissue types can be altered by millions of years of geological processes, creating misleading evidence about the creature's original biochemistry. Trace elements that indicate vertebrate versus invertebrate tissues can migrate through rock matrices over geological time, contaminating samples and producing conflicting analytical results. Even the most sophisticated equipment struggles with the limitations of the preservation style as the fossils essentially become biological shadows rather than three-dimensional anatomical records. Comparative studies with other Maison Creek fauna show similar preservation challenges, suggesting that the site's exceptional fossil record comes with inherent interpretive limitations. Creatures that scientists can identify from other fossil sites often appear distorted or incomplete at Mason Creek, demonstrating how the preservation process affects anatomical interpretation. Scientists realized they were trying to solve a biological mystery using evidence that might be fundamentally compromised by the very processes that preserved it. The exceptional soft tissue preservation that makes Tully monster fossils so remarkable also creates a scientific trap where the evidence needed for definitive classification may be forever hidden by the fossilization process itself. This preservation paradox raises profound questions about whether some paleontological mysteries are simply unsolvable with current methods and available evidence. While the mystery of Tulla Monstrum remains unsolved, scientists have put forward several hypotheses about what might have caused its disappearance from Earth. The most popular theory suggests that the species went extinct at the end of the Carboniferous period alongside global climate changes. During that time, the collapse of massive coal forests led to significant shifts in the ecosystem. Atmospheric oxygen levels dropped, sea levels changed, and the habitat of Tully Monstrum shrank considerably. As a creature with such a unique body shape and structure, it's highly plausible that it couldn't adapt to these harsh changes. Some other theories propose that the emergence of new and more powerful predators uh, could also be a cause. As biodiversity continued to evolve, Tully Monstrum, um, with its soft body, and possibly limited swimming ability, might have become an easy target. Ultimately, regardless of the specific reason, the extinction of Tully Monstrum remains part of the larger mystery surrounding this creature, reminding us that the history of life on Earth still holds many undiscovered secrets. The Tully Monster may represent the limits of what paleontology can definitively determine about ancient life serving as a humbling reminder that some evolutionary secrets may be lost forever to the imperfect process of fossilization. Despite decades of research and increasingly sophisticated technology, this creature continues to resist classification attempts by the world's leading experts. The creature's enduring mystery challenges us to accept that the history of life 
contains chapters that will always remain partially unreadable, making the Tully monster not just Illinois' state fossil, but paleontology's greatest unsolved case. What other impossible creatures might be waiting in the fossil record, ready to challenge everything we think we know about life on Earth?